Welcome to Melbourne. I'm James Ridenour, Chef Concierge of the Intercontinental Melbourne, the Rialto, and I'd like to invite you to take an insider's tour of our marvelous city. So come on, let's go. Our hotel is located in the New York end of Collins Street, which is only a short stroll from some of the city's most exciting and interesting locations. One of the best ways to get around the city is to hop on one of Melbourne's famous trams. The City Circle Tram is a popular way to become familiarized with Melbourne, and best of all, it's free. Only a block from the hotel, you'll find the Yarra River, which offers up spectacular views of the city. You can walk, cycle, or jog along the banks of the river, or take a cruise and enjoy the city sights. Beside the river, you'll find Melbourne's Royal Botanic Gardens, home to over 10,000 species of flora. And there's always something in bloom, even in winter. Australia's mad about sports, and the Melbourne Cricket Ground is the centre of sporting life in the city. It can accommodate up to 100,000 fans for a sporting event, and is the home of Aussie rules football and cricket. Melbourne also hosts many other international sporting events, the highlight of Melbourne's social and sporting calendar is the Melbourne Cup, which is referred to as the race that stops the nation. For the best tickets, contact the concierge well in advance. The Arts Centre and Federation Square are the centre of Melbourne's thriving art scene. These complexes house a number of galleries, museums and performance spaces. Inside Federation Square, you'll find the National Gallery of Victoria's Ian Potter Centre. The gallery features Aboriginal art, paintings from the 19th and 20th century, as well as contemporary Australian art. I recommend taking some time to enjoy not only the art, but the architecture of this impressive gallery. While we're here, I thought I would show you one of the gallery's finest works, painted by John Brack, entitled Collins Street, 5 p.m. It might not be 5 p.m., but we're on Collins Street at the Paris end, where you'll find all the big European labels. For something a little more unique, you'll want to get to know the real Melbourne. Melbourne is fortunate to have Australia's best shopping, and you'll find a large variety of shops and designer boutiques located throughout the city. A great place to start your discovery is the GPO, which is one of the fashion centres of Melbourne. You'll find many Australian designers here, along with some of the most popular overseas labels. A great place to connect with Melbourne's history is the Block Arcade, built in 1893 when Melbourne was the richest city in the world. The arcade features a number of unique shops and backs onto Block Place, which is a favourite lunch spot with the locals. In Melbourne, laneway culture is coffee culture, and Melbourne is mad about coffee. Liaison Café in Monaco House is one of my favourite spots for an espresso and a bite to eat. Owners Daniel and Shani will always ensure you're well looked after and fully caffeinated for your Melbourne adventure. To experience Melbourne like a local, you'll definitely want to soak up the atmosphere at one of the many rooftop bars. Really, there is no better place than Siglo, which boasts views of the iconic Princess Theatre and Parliament House. A visit to the city would not be complete without sampling Melbourne's sophisticated restaurant scene. If you're looking for the quintessential Melbourne restaurant, Taxi Dining Room is a great pick. Taxi features a modern Australian menu with Asian influences. The menu is filled with inventive flavour combinations and some of the freshest seafood in town. One of Taxi's signature dishes is the Szechuan duck, perfect with a glass of Australian Pinot Noir which can be selected from one of Melbourne's best wine lists. Only a few blocks from the hotel is renowned chef Shannon Bennett's Bistro Vu. The bistro features classic French cuisine in a charming Parisian atmosphere. I wanted to create something that was really just old and historic in its feel and uh, went back to why I became a chef. And why I became a chef was being inspired by old, great classic recipes. It's also about uh, championing really good ingredients.
I hope you enjoyed this insider tour of our great city. I invite you to join us at the Intercontinental Melbourne, the Rialto. So for now, it's farewell.